it's VR Mousy. This is a York YP9C furnace. This is the top of the line modulating York furnace. This is 120,000 BTUs. It's a YP9C 120D20. 5 ton blower. Okay, today I'm installing a humidification system. The humidifier has already been installed by the installers. You can see that gray box on the right. That is the humidifier. The humidifier pad goes in there and we add humidity into the return duct. I get stuck with the wiring because this is not your basic setup. This here is your humidistat. It's your humidity controller. It's a Honeywell Humidi Pro. And the reason that I got stuck with this is because of this little trick right in here. Okay, looking at your terminals, you've got C. C is, let me zoom on that, C is your 24 volt common. R is your 24 volt power. Without common and power, this control will not work. You don't get nothing. Okay, U and U are for the humidifier or the dehumidifier. And then once you get this thing powered up and set up, going through the installer menu, you can tell it what it's connected to. All right, S and S is for the outdoor sensor. The trick with this setup is that these U terminals coming from that controller, these are actually a dry contact. That is a normally open switch that when this control says it's giving humidity, all it does is it closes from U to U. All right, and so my humidistat and my solenoid valve, the sol I'm sorry, the solenoid valve right here needs 24 volts to open and to let water through. Okay, that 24 volts is going to come on this cable, and this cable is going to give us 24 volts here from the control. The trick is, you can't just go to U and U and expect 24 volts. That's a dry contact. All it does is close an open wire. Okay, so what I set up is I took R and I have a jumper coming from R my 24 volt in goes to the top side of U that top side of U is normally open until the control says I want humidity and then it'll give this 24 volts through down to here on the other side of U is my 24 volt hot side that is gonna feed my solenoid valve so that I can have humidification and then the white is the common and that goes straight to common the other terminal here is my outdoor air temperature terminal and that is connected and it just goes straight outside on a standard 10k ohm thermistor excuse me I just dropped the control let me go ahead and click him back on okay there he is and that is wired so that it only gets power when we are in the heating mode. All right, here's the board. These wires feed my transformer that gives the 24 volts for that control. These wires come from, you see how it says humidifier. Okay, on this York setup, the way this guy does, and I'm gonna go ahead and jump for heat. When I make R and W, that's gonna call for heat. Okay, on a call for heat, the inducer spins, it'll make the high pressure switch, and then it'll back down and make the low pressure switch. The pressure transducer, this guy here, actually measures the pressure and the difference from the high to the low, and it establishes a baseline and says these are okay numbers. All right, once that checks out, my hot surface igniter will be in the top left corner, should light up. And the board is going to give time for that to get up to temperature enough to where it's hot enough to be able to light gas. So here we go. Now she's starting to light up. Once that board says that it's warm enough, it'll go ahead and open the gas valve. Once the gas valve opens and lights, there it goes and the board proves flame. That control should power up. It should receive their click should receive 24 volts because on that humidifier terminal it's set up so that 
when you are making heat and only when you're making heat will it give 120 volts out. That 120 volts out makes 24 volts that hits the RMC here to power up this control. Now remember, 24 volt common that comes from our furnace, the common side is also going straight through to our solenoid. The hot side from this 24 volt coming in, hot gets jumped to the top side of U. U will be switched when this guy says we want humidity to give 24 volts to the other side because we've already got common tied onto our solenoid. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cheat and jump this guy into a testing mode so that I can show click. That click is this solenoid getting power and opening to allow water, again, bear with me, to drip through here. See, now we're running water through our humidifier pad. And when we go to zero, that's off, and that shuts that solenoid. It breaks that 24 volt power. One is on in the test position, and now we've got water. So again, the trick with this control is that those U and U terminals are a dry contact. It's normally open. So depending on your setup, you may or may not be able to use a, a jumper and do a little trick like I did to push the 24 volts through so you get it to your solenoid so you can have water at your humidifier. Or you may end up having to use a relay, depending on your situation. Again, it all depends on what you've got and what you're trying to do. Honeywell makes some pretty smart stuff, and so they've pretty well figured it all out. You just have to know what you're doing to make it go. Enjoy VR Mousy.